Hi, in this video, I'm gonna share, share one of the most useful little tricks in Google Chrome to speed up your searching process. Whether you're searching for content on the internet through Google search, whether you're looking for video on YouTube, whether you're looking for images on certain image sites, or even if you're looking for content saved on your own Google Drive. This trick will save you a lot of time. So the first thing we want to look at is when you open a new tab in Google Chrome, a lot of people tend to think the only place where we can search is over here in this field. However, what we don't always realize is that is actually exactly the same as what we have over here. Here we will type our URL or we can just type the search, whatever we are looking for, right over there. So instead of having to always open up a new tab, you can simply type it over there. What people don't realize is we can create shortcuts that allows us to search sites from straight in that Omnibox. Just to give an example of what I'm talking about, I've got mine set up that if I click here and I type drive and I hit spacebar, it automatically knows that now it needs to search something in Google Drive. So now I can just simply type the search that I have and I'll hit enter. And instead of going and searching Google, it's going to go and search my Google Drive, things that are on my drive or things that are shared with me. So how do we actually create this little trick? Well, let me show you how we go about actually doing making one of these. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at how our search string is created. So over here, the link that you see over there, let's look at this. So there is the link that allows my Google Drive to search for something. So if I copy that, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger over here. What we'll find is the part that I'm going to highlight in red now is the search string that I entered. So over there, that is the search string. So there I've got my search string. So let's have a look at what it looks like on YouTube as an example. So now I don't have YouTube set up like that. If I want to search for something on YouTube, I first need to go to the U to YouTube, the site address. And then sometimes when I do that in a classroom setup, now it looks at all the various videos that I'm looking at, which are not necessarily appropriate to what I want to search for in my class in front of my learners. And now I can type in my search string here at the top. Let's have a look at what happened this time. So now I'm going to copy this again, this link, just to show you what happens. So what you'll notice is this part that is in black, that is the web address that I'm using. So you'll see that here for, at the top, I've got Google Drive and here I've got YouTube. And then over here in red, this is the actual search string that I'm using. Now it's important to take note of this because this is going to be key when we are going to set up our own shortcuts. Right, let's try one more just to, so that you can see the differences that we, that we can get. Another one that I feel is a very useful site to use sometimes is FreePick. Right, so here I'm on FreePick. I'm just looking for an image of children playing for whatever it is that I need to use it in a presentation. So here I've got nice pictures and images that I can use of children playing. But again, what we're interested in at the moment is we want to have a look at this URL at the top. So again, I'm just going to add it to our presentation that we've got. Right, so again, you'll see all of them are different. Some of them are very simple, as we've got in Google Drive's instance. Some of them are a little bit more complicated, as we have in FreePix instance. But ultimately, all of them are going to follow a similar thing, in that there'll be a website address, and then there'll be something that was the thing that you were searching for. So now, how do we create that quick referencing thing? Google Chrome. So what we want to do now is we want to go into the Google Chrome settings. So right here at the top, when we get those three little buttons, we're going to click on that. And you're going to go into settings. And then once you've opened up your Chrome settings, now you're going to go to search engine over here. Now we're going to click on the manage search engines and site search and it'll open up and I scroll down and here you'll see when it gets to site search, here is where I want to add those specific things. So let's have a look at how that actually works. We're going to click on add and you'll see there are three categories. 
The first one is the search engine. That's just the name, whatever you want to call it. So the first one we want to get set up is we want to use our YouTube. Now you can define the shortcut. So you can just call it YouTube if you want to, or you can even go shorter than that and call it YT. And this is case sensitive, mind you. So you need to make sure whether or not you're writing capitals or lowercase, or you can just call it U if you want to, whatever you use, just keep, just remember it. Often I find it easiest to just call it the site's name. We're just going to call it YouTube. And now comes the, the tricky part. So we've got that ready to go. Let's have a look at these things that we've got over here. What we need to do, as they explain to us here, we want to take the URL and then we want to replace that percentage S in the place of the query. So effectively what we need to do is we need to go here and this red part needs to be replaced with percentage S. And we can do the same thing, so that's on Google Drive. Over here, we're going to say percentage S, lowercase. And then over here, same story. We'll take that whole section and say percentage S. Just on that quickly, if, you, if you're not sure what this percentage 20 means, in terms of um, internet referencing, percentage 20 is used in the place of a space. So don't worry about that. We take the whole string and we write percent S. So let's see what happens. I'm going to take the YouTube one. I'm going to copy that and I'll add it over here. So it's been added. Now I go add and let's see if it works. Now I type YouTube and I hit spacebar and it changes to search YouTube and I can go straight into YouTube search. Let's do that one more time. We're going to add one for free pick as well. I'm going to say add. I'm going to call this one free pick. I'm going to go to my shortcuts over here. I want to copy that. Make sure that I put it over here with a URL. And now I'm just going to call it free pick. Right. Again, you can call it, you can make the shortcut whatever you want. And we'll add that. And there we have our free pick one added as well. So again, let's test that. We're going to type in free pick. And instead of going free to freepick.com, we type in free pick and we press spacebar and then it says search free pick. So any website that has search functionality, if you're using flat icons, unsplash, any kind of thing that has a search functionality, all that you do is you go to the website and you run a search and you try to identify where should I add this percentage S and then you can automatically create that for you.